Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Parotid mass is a common case faced by an ENT specialist. Most of the parotid mass, about 80% are benign, like pleomorphic adenoma, Vardin's tumor, hemangioma, lymphangioma. A patient came to us with a parotid mass with a FNAC diagnosis of a benign lesion. But we noticed that there is a facial palsy. So we referred the patient for a repeat FNAC from a better center. And the result was a parotid malignancy. So a patient with a parotid mass with uh, accompanying facial palsy, we should think about parotid malignancy like mucoepidermate carcinoma, adenoid cystic carcinoma, mixed tumor adenocarcinoma. Even in case of parotid malignancy, patient may sometime present with facial weakness first, then later diagnosed with parotid mass. Other than facial palsy, parotid mass may be accompanied by some other features of parotid malignancy like rapid growth, fixity with overlying skin, and immobility. Other than parotid malignancy, parotitis can sometimes cause parotid mass with facial palsy. In this case, the parotid will be swollen, edematous, tender with overlying erythema. On pressure over the parotid, we will see that purulent discharge coming out through the oral cavity from Stenson's duct. Now the question is, can a benign lesion of parotid cause facial palsy? The answer is yes, but exceedingly rarely. In the end, to concise, if a patient present with parotid mass and facial palsy, first we should think about parotid malignancy. Parotitis can rarely cause facial palsy and benign lesion can cause facial palsy exceedingly rarely. That's all for today. Hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.